Hey Kiki girls and welcome back. It's your girl, Tanel of Kiki to the Core. And on today's video, I was gonna do something a little bit different. Instead of you showing you guys how I made the wigs, I was gonna go into detail of how I styled and cut or cut and styled. It's all a wig. like a feeling thing and how I'm feeling the vibe of the wig. So once I put it on and I curl the uh, I comb the curls out and I define how I want the curls to look then I go in and shape it and style it and stuff like that so I'm going to take you along that process <clears throat> so first thing first I made a crochet wig and I used the free trust braid uh, what is this the free trust braid and the bouncy twist out and this is what it looks like yes, good. okay so this is what it looks like <clears throat> and I didn't want the defined curls like that I wanted to unravel the curls to get a full kinky texture look so this is what this is what the hair looks like once I unraveled it. So you see a lot of it is kinky, which I don't mind. But once I had the whole big wig, and I'm sorry, <clears throat> I did not record that part, and I did not record me crocheting the wig. If you want to see a wig crocheting video, I will put links down below and definitely up at the top for you guys to check how I make my crochet wigs. So needless to say. I was not feeling the wig at all I like a big old lion <laughs> just on my head. Just like I look like a lioness. Yes. It wasn't cute at all. So anywho, that's why I decided to say, okay, I'm gonna come to you guys and show you how I make I mean how I style my wigs. Even though that was the premises of the video, but like I really had to start over with this wig. So, this is the wig. You guys can see that. And if you follow me on Snapchat, yes, you've seen me um, twisting this out and stuff on there. Now, I have made this wig probably, I know, over a month. And I just, I just when I said I wasn't feeling it, I wasn't feeling it. I'll look at it and I'm like, ugh. I want to do something else so you guys know if you've been keeping up with my videos the different styles that I have had since this video has came out so in a month time over a month time so anywho so I twist the hair and I put hanging band two knots at the end and then I hot water dipped it now, to me, the texture, the color of the hair has changed, and not really the texture, but I did not put any moisturizer or anything like that beforehand, which I should have, but we're going to see what it works, how it looks like when it comes out. So, I'm going to go and unravel these, and when I come back, I'm going to put it on my head so we can get the process that way. All right, I'll be back. Good. And then you're like, oh no. Mm -mm. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just go ahead and continue to separate my hair. And what I'm doing is just taking it, not to make it too frizzy. <laughs> I'll be mumbling and talking to myself. <laughs> so yeah, but I want 
it to stick like further out and get more froey. Froey. I'm just making up words. But, okay. And I still don't like how it feels, so I'm going to try to add a little bit of moisture, just any curling cream or butter or something that you have. We're going to see. I'm going to see how this. So I have two things. I got a wild two comb and yeah. I got a paddle brush. I put out the trees and crack the moonroof only for you to breathe. You get an extra set of keys. I tell a girl while I'm out on tour, keep your hands on my girls. The law, the law. Uh, yeah. You don't want to. So if you're making a wig or you're doing crochet
crochet style, I would suggest getting about five or six packs of these or maybe seven to eight if you're doing the crochet style and then separate once you get it in, but do not separate and then install like I did because then you will end up with a big throw. But I went back in and I twisted it and did a bantu knot and um, hot water dip it and it looks so nice. Like, it's so bomb you guys like this is what I envisioned when I did I wish it was a little bit stiffer so it can go like that but I believe the more that I play with it and make it more kinky and frizzy it's going to do that but I like because you can see underneath like the curl definition like yeah because no natural has all uniform curls so that's what bothers me about like styles like this like so i just want to make a wig and i want to show you guys how i style and cut how i cut and style my wig so it's all a vision that i start with when i look at some hair and what I can do with it. Sometimes it is planned, sometimes it is not. Just like this, I was just, it wasn't planned to retwist it and do hanging band two knots on it. That was not my intention, uh, initial plans at all. But it came out super duper hot. Like this is so dope. Yes, I am feeling this. This is definitely going to be one of my summertime okay you guys so that's it um okay you guys so that's it i'm gonna start talking and playing in the wig but if you haven't subscribed to my channel what are you waiting for i know you want to become part of the kinky girl team so go ahead and push that subscribe button thumbs up this video if you like it if you would like to see more wig making videos thumbs up this video don't forget to comment if you have any questions you already know what to do put it down below in the comment section um, all the products and stuff that I use will be below in the description box um, hey if you know anybody that can utilize this or you want to share feel free to go ahead and share it and you guys already know I love you for watching thank you for watching I will see you guys in the next one. Oh. And stay in tune with me. Yes, stay in tune. Like if you want to know what I be doing and all in my business and what's popping and what's going on with Kinky to the Core, <laughs> go ahead and follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat, all at Kinky to the Core. So Kinky to the Core, you see that down there? Follow me to Kinky to the Core, okay? So yes, I will see you guys in the next one. <laughs>